Yo guys, what's up? It's Mongol, your number one assassin player here, and today I'm gonna break down Marvin the Martian for you all. We're gonna go over perk loadouts and unique perks, stuff like that, general move set, general gameplay for Marvin, a neutral game, and then some ladders and combos. Make sure you stay tuned for those sick combos at the end. He's got a lot of cool combos. Without any further ado, let's just jump right in. Make sure you're subscribed as well. Marvin the Martian as a whole is basically a mage-like assassin. He's got a lot of cool projectiles and cooldowns. Magnet missile, that's not what it's called, but that's what I call it, it's a Mega Man reference. We got the bubble, down air, and then where he come, where the assassin part comes into play is his high amount of vertical pressure that he can put on. He's very Harley-esque in the amount of vertical pressure he can come on. Then he can aim it and just do it again. Something like that, right? So basically how you want to play Marvin, you do want to, you know, zone out a little bit, play behind your bubbles. Then when you have a chance to go in, you rack up some big damage on your combos and get him a good ladder situation. And then finish him off with a rocket, something like that. All right, here we are in the lab. Let's go ahead and take a look at his perks. We got the K62 modulator Mark V. When Marvin redirects projectiles, those projectiles gain a small size and speed buff. Ally projectiles that Marvin redirects gain a larger buff. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now watch the Bugs Bunny rocket as he, after he sends it. Look at that. See how much bigger it's getting? You notice I have a cooldown below me as well. I can still use the button. It'll have a hitbox, but it won't redirect the projectile like it did the first time or make it bigger or faster with this perk. Now let's take a look at R33 Heat Seekers. We've got, instead of firing one large rocket at Marvin, Marvin's spaceship will shoot one homing missile at each enemy as affected with a lock-on debuff. I tend not to use this one because it gets rid of a very, very good option we'll discuss later, the up special. But I'll go ahead and show you the perk here. We'll set up the lock-on. Now watch what happens here. They're both locked on. So there's one, and there's two. You see how those two rockets, one for each enemy there, just changes the up special. We'll go over what the up special does normally in a little bit. Make sure you stay tuned for the cool move set and the combos coming up as well. The last of Marvin's unique perks here, we have my favorite one, the Space Invader. This one is probably best in ones, and then the button is probably better in twos. So on the ground, Marvin has his up tilt, and you can aim it any direction. He's got his little Marvin gun, right? Shoo. But what happens if we do that in the air with this perk? We can do it. We can also do it this way. Crank it a little bit back and forth. This is only applicable with the perk. You won't be able to do this normally. If we take off the perk, you won't be able to aim the up air. See, I can't I can't turn the up air. It's basically kind of a glove control-esque thing, but that is his unique perks in a nutshell. Now let's go ahead and go over Marvin's move sets. First thing we're gonna talk about is the Nair. It is the same thing both in the air and in the ground. It is a chargeable bubble that eats projectiles both ally and enemy projectiles let's go ahead and we'll check it out the move a little bit notice what happens here when i eat the shaggy sandwich with my bubble it now becomes my projectile this will work with a lot of different projectiles and marvin has a lot of cool combos he can do with it for instance we can combo it with his rocket like this And then that's just a huge stage hazard that goes basically across the whole screen. For the neutral attack itself, you can charge it up, you can charge it down, or you can go straight ahead. Same thing in the air. There's three directions you can shoot that. It will eat your projectiles. That has pretty good base knockback damage. You can do some pretty cool Rick-esque setups if you're like really good at it. You can like hit him into the bubble and try to go for a ladder that way. Something like that. And then, of course... Something we'll talk about later. You can also redirect the bubble. Now let's go ahead and talk about his jabs. One, two, three. The third one is a little bit of a projectile there. You can turn the jabs in any direction as as pretty normal with uh, multiverses. This can be a true combo if you have them spaced correctly. Like there it was true. If it wasn't stale, you're not really going to stop any approaches with it like you will with Stripe or somebody. But it's a good combo starter. You can go into like say or something after that. Or down air, say into the jab, something of that nature. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about bread and butters. Overall, the jabs aren't too bad. You're better off going into the up air usually, rather than uh, the third hit of it. Now, jabs in the air, or side air, is one of your best moves on Marvin. 
It's a very good combo extender. It's a very good forward air poke tool. Uh, kind of Bug Bunny-esque forward air, but not quite. Very good move here. Uh, it ladders very well because it sends at an upwards angle rather rather than sideways. Uh, it can go. You can auto cancel into like jabs or something for a true combo. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with the with the forward air, just like that. Say air forward air, whatever you want to call it. We'll talk about more combo game with it here in a while. Next moves we're going to talk about are down tilt and down air. Both of these moves damage Marvin. You can see this will go all the way up to 15, and then this one will do. I think it's five. Yep. The down air has really good range and is a very, very good spike tool. It does deplete as you hold it. So be wary of that. Uh, you can kind of drift a little bit with it, but it's usually not worth it because you'll take damage. You're better off gliding with your Sair. Uh, down tilt, use it for get off me tool if a fin's engaging from the ground or something like that. Down air, always look for good down air spikes, if they're ho especially if they're hog and ledge. Marvin really forces people to have to recover like this, okay? And they have to do the tri what I call the triangle jump recovery, okay? He, and that's a lot more punishable for your teammate or something in twos than if they're going like this and they're going up like that. As we discussed earlier, we have the up tilt next. Same thing as up air. You can see I'm not using the perk like we discussed earlier. These are very, very good juggle tools. Another really good move of his. Especially airborne, it's a very good kill move. Really going to use this to extend your uh, ladders or start them. So you go one, two, start that up. You can see I'm extending the with, with the up air, just like that. I can aim it. If I have the perk, I can aim it as well. Definitely throw this move into your arsenal. It's a very, very good move. Next move we're going to talk about is the down special. What's so cool about down special? Watch this projectile. Whoa, what the heck? Hold on, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Get back over there, Shaggy. He's locked on. My projectiles lock on to Shaggy. Every single projectile logs on to Shaggy when he has that debuff from Marvin. It also has a hitbox without the flag, as you can see here. But the main reason you're going to use down special is for your projectile lock on, like we discussed earlier. Watch what happens with the rocket. I'm going to aim up here. And it's going to blue lock right onto him. It's a very good projectile conjunction move. Next on Marvin, let's talk about the side specials. We got the grounded side special. It's a magnet bomb. It pulls the enemy towards you no matter where you are. So you can do cool things like this. You see how he almost already died there because I got him with the pull. It does have a range. So if you go too far... It won't go all the way back, but it's a fairly forgiving range. Now for the aerial version, this is the, one of his best moves. It's by far your best laddering tool, so watch what happens here. Ladder. You see that side special just kind of keeps laddering him. He just does this little Martian glide, I guess is what we can call it. So when we did our little ladder earlier, we used the grounded side special, and then we started using that one, the aerial side special, to keep laddering him there. So definitely use this as a good uh, poking tool because you can start up a lot of his high vertical damage combos as well as the ladder combo extender itself. Very, very good move overall. Now let's go into a little bit more detail about the neutral special. We saw it a little bit earlier in action with the perk that we did, the uh, button perk. Watch what happens with his projectiles here. Oop. So you can see now I can't do it, okay? So basically any of Marvin or Marvin's allies projectiles can be redirected once with the neutral special. It also has a punch hitbox, doof, just like that. And with the punch hitbox of neutral special, you can do even cool things like this. See, I kind of did a 30% combo there just with Sare and using my neutral special to keep knocking him back down into the ground. There's a lot of cool combos you can extend with this. Go into there and do some vertical pressure. If I had one more neutral special there, I could have extended it further with the punch even. Just really play around with that move. It's a really, really good high skill ceiling move to really keep going with the combos and things like that. We'll talk about a little bit later. Now let's go ahead and break down some bread and butter stuff with Marvin and some advanced combos, really using most of his kit in order to maximize the damage as well as get these high vertical kills. So you really have four moves that are really good combo extenders in your combo game. You've got your jabs, only the first two. You don't really use the third one because it's that arching projectile. You've got jab, or you've got button, side special, and sair. Those are going to be your four main 
combo extenders. You can also get away with using quick neutral bubble sometimes, depending on the opponent DI. That's a little bit less consistent than something like this. So now for the actual combos, you can do something like jab, jab, up tilt, and then start going into vertical game. This is always going to be true. That last, those last six hits or so are always going to be true. Your Sayer and the side special, they're true into each other. That's your, going to be your biggest bread and butter to learn. The trumpet and the ship won't be a true combo into anything, but it covers a lot of options. So let's hit a pretty cool combo here like we did in the showcase. So there you can see as that combo, I was able to do a nice ladder with the ship. And then we had the coverage of the rocket as well. You're also going to be wanting to make sure you're subscribed to the channel too. Because I'm going to be posting some assassin montages really soon. You'll be able to see a lot of cool Marvin combos in action. Some final thoughts with Marvin here. Just be really patient with him. His big weakness is that he can get zoned out really easily. But really what your neutral game is going to consist of is going for these sayer pokes right you're going to go for these sayer pokes that's one of your best moves and then once you get it you can start racking up some damage that way having an opponent's marked is always a really good thing because then you can ha then you always have the risk of killing really early like look how much knockback that did at 20. when your enemy is marked they are in a really dangerous spot so whenever you can make sure the enemy is marked you should be using that skill off of cooldown basically so every time you have it so that's a very important part of marvin's kit he really uses most of his kit i tend not to use down tilt as much uh even even like quick bubble has its place in combo extending and stuff he has a lot of cool support game with his bubbles and things so really just practice his kit learning your cooldown timings learning your timings on the ladder and you'll be sitting good with Marvin the Martian. There you have it, guys. There is your number one Marvin the Martian guide from the number one assassin player. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I would love to answer each one that I can. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. We're going to drop some sick assassin montage as soon as I'm plenty of other cool content. A whole lot of content that you guys got to stay tuned for with the notification bell on to know when it goes live. And also stop by a Twitch stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We've got a brand new time when we're playing custom games, tournaments, and having fun with viewers and things. It is now going to be 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.